Bobby Miller has been an outstanding prospect, and now he's an outstanding big league pitcher. Only a few starts into his career, but those first seven starts, he has captured four victories already. McCutcheon in to lead off the game. Wow, there's 101. There's 101. McCutcheon will take a seat. A strikeout for Miller. The switch hitting Brian Reynolds, 273, eight home runs, 41 runs batted in. And line drive right center field, and look at this ball. Clear the deck, cannonball coming, and anchor down. The home run for Reynolds, his ninth, and it is 1 0 Pirates. 101 in, 107 How about that? out. Center cut. Henry Davis, two played together at Louisville. <laughs> and Bobby Miller's going to let his buddy know about that. At 100 miles an hour, but check out the life on this fastball, the movement compared to the one that was hit for a home run. The other one was very straight. This one has great running action. Pitch eight to Santana, pitch 24 the first. A third strikeout for Miller in the first inning, but a solo home run for Brian Reynolds as Pittsburgh up one nothing For Osvaldo Bito, another rookie starting this matchup. He's on normal four days rest. He's gonna throw the full smorgasbord of pitches at you. Now Freddie Freeman who carries a 10 game on base streak into tonight. There's one hit hard into the corner in right field. Freeman makes the turn. Will head for second as a stand-up double. The on-base streak continues. A double. Now Will Smith. And a pop-up on the infield. Marcano to Capita Marcano at shortstop. How to deke without leaving the bags. Max Muncy homer in the first game of this series. And Sawinski again. And busy early on here. Nice work, Osvaldo Bito. one nothing after one. Here's David Peralta. Here's a 2-2. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Got him to expand the zone on the fastball. First strikeout for Bito. And walks are back-to-back free passes issued by Bito. First and second, two away, Miguel Rojas now. Swing and a ground ball right to short. And shuffled on to second for the force, and Beto gets out of it. So a couple of two out walks, no big deal, leaves him on. We'll go to the third. Pirates one, LA nothing. Two down. The batter who met Bobby's power with some power of his own, Brian Reynolds. On the ground is second. It's a 10 pitch third for Bobby Miller. Deficit remains one. Freddie Freeman, a double. His first time up. 1 2, swing and a miss, struck him out. He got 95 out over, but with Freeman crowding the plate, it kind of jammed him some. And that's a second strikeout for Osvaldo Vito. And a call third strike. A nice frame job once again by Austin Hedges. And 1 2 3, go the Dodgers. 1 0 Pirates. Henry Davis leading it off. And Henry Davis lines one to deep left field. And it is off the top of the wall. Davis into second base with a double. How about that? Robbie was just talking about Miller winning round one against his buddy, and Davis nearly took him out. Carlos Santana coming up. On the line drive into right. Davis is held at third, had to hold on the line drive, and Santana singles to right, first and third, nobody out. Because Sawinski's turned himself into a bit of a Dodger nemesis in his young career. He's reached in nine of ten career games against the Dodgers. Monday's 0 for 2 effort for the first time he was held off the base pass. And Sawinski. High fly One ball, more. the deep right field. Back is Hayward. And Potato Pete, watch this one sail out of Dodger Stadium. Jack Sawinski, a Jack Jack, his 19th, a three run shot. 4 0 Buckos. Back to back games with a home run for Jack Sawinski. This one, a three run blast. 2 2 to Nick Gonzalez. It's a strikeout for Miller, his fourth of the game, first of the fourth inning. Doesn't need a call. He got a swing and a miss. Miller up to five strikeouts, but the Pirates up to four runs after Sawinski's blast. Dodgers trying to answer the Pirates, who have scored seven unanswered in the last five frames. Now Jason Hayward walked in his first plate appearance. Hayward, this one to right, broke the bat. Davis has it in front of the track. Muncie will tag and score with the Dodgers on the board. Martinez also advances to third. First and third, one out. James Altman. He finished it. And there is 100 strikeouts for Altman and the second out for Beto. Up to Rojas at two out. Rojas in the left center. RBI knock. The Dodgers within two. That is a huge hit when you have bases loaded no out and you make it walk away with only one run on a sack fly that would be devastating and Betts has flied out twice round ball third Triolo the backhand long throw to first and he got him with a play what a play Jared Triolo deep third straddling the line and throws out Mookie Betts that gets the Pirates out of the inning 
The Dodgers get two and will go to the fifth with the Pirates still hitting four to two. Back to back walks now six on the evening. But one for the last 12. The L.A. lineup with runners in scoring position. They get two for 13. J.D. Martinez deep left field. Gone! J.D.'s 20th of the season flips the scoreboard. 5-4 Dodgers. Now David Peralta. Peralta to right field. Gone! Don't you love it when they go back to back? Peralta with his sixth home run of the year. The Dodgers lead six to four. Two balls and two strikes. Swing and a miss. Went back to the curveball. Strikes out Hayward for the second out. Here's the three two pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. 92 above the zone. And he gets Rojas to chase and end the inning. But Miller's eighth pitch to Davis. He struck him out the second time. And when he got 14 swing and misses prior to this one, it was in six innings. Here's his 14th swing and miss on a high slider, getting an old teammate. He walked Sawinski with two out, and that will be the end of the line for Bobby Miller. The leave in line for a dub. Bill Bickford is in. Marcano's one for two. Marcano in the air. Easy jog for Hayward. A silent golf clap from Oral Hershiser in the booth as the Dodgers deliver a shutdown inning to stay up two. Pirates have. The tying runs on base. Bickford to pay things off. Oh, boy. They're going to come out and look at him. Derek Shelton, the manager, first person there. Oh, no, the way he's on uh, his right shoulder, is it? Right now he's walking down to first. Another look. There'll be something on that right side because that's what takes the impact as he goes to the ground. Pitching change has been made for the Dodgers. So welcome to the game, Ryan Brazier. Bases loaded, nobody out in the top of the seventh. And a leaping grab by Rojas. One away. That is huge, huge, huge. Great positioning. The line drive looks like it can get over his head, but he times it perfectly. Bases stay loaded. Now Henry Davis. The 2-2. Soft liner to Betts. Nobody's going anywhere. Two away. Who wants to catch the next liner to get out of the inning? Santana popped up on the infield. Who's got it? Max Muncy does. Base is loaded. No out. No problem for Ryan Brazier. Kayla Ferguson enters the game out of the Dodger bullpen. Five, six, and seven in the Pittsburgh order. Strike three called for Ferguson. Protest from Sawinski. Doesn't do anything. There's Shelton saying that ball is down. A nice catch by Will Smith. And he's on the tying run coming up. Marcano's going back to the Pirates dugout, and there will be a pinch hitter. Strike three swinging. Great location on this pitch. You don't have to go to the corner if you get the right altitude. Strike three. Ferguson strikes out the side. That's three in the inning for Caleb Ferguson. Keeps the Dodgers up to Daniel Hudson. Searching for his first save since June 8th. Two on, nobody out. Brian Reynolds. That's it hard. That's hooking toward the corner. That is just, just foul. Hudson's eighth to Reynolds. Bounced. Bases loaded. Nobody out. The 2 2 pitch. Strike three called. They took a chance. He kept it on the plate. It had just enough depth to fool him. The spin, the depth, it didn't have any sweep. He made an adjustment and kept it a strike. In the seventh, Carlos Santana had the bases loaded and two out, popped up. Here in the ninth, bases loaded, one out, fly ball to left. Peralta underneath. Joe will not score. One doesn't matter. Pittsburgh has to hold it up. They're looking for a base hit. There was no way they were going. So it comes down to Jack Sawinski, who has hurt the Dodgers seemingly every chance he gets. Did he go? He did! Another rabbit pulled 